okay in order to understand uh, in order to describe a lesion in an oral cavity a good understanding of the uh, anatomy of the oral uh, cavity is uh, very much essential uh, so oral cavity uh, extends anteriorly uh, from the lips that is the uh, vermilion border of the lips that is the mucocutaneous junction of the lips and inside uh, it uh, extend into uh, the buccal mucosa inside the cheeks then you have the maxillary and the mandibular arches the hard palate uh, uh, and then there is a, a posterior uh, molar trigone on the either sides okay and you have uh, the tongue uh, and uh, the the tongue has a dorsal part and the ventral part uh, the up anterior two thirds part of the tongue is considered to be in the oral cavity and posterior one third uh, uh, is considered to be in the oropharynx so this is uh, the uh, the dorsal part of the tongue has numerous papillae so the anterior two third and the posterior one third of the tongue are separated by uh, circumvallic papillae uh, the anterior two third is uh, freely mobile and consists of primarily uh, skeletal uh, skeletal muscle okay um, uh, then um, uh, the hard palate hard palate consists of uh, two bones that is the uh, maxillary bone and the palatine bone palatine bone okay then uh, uh, the the posteriorly the oropharynx freely communicates with the uh, sorry uh, posteriorly the oral cavity freely communicates with the oropharynx uh, posteriorly uh, the border of the oral cavity to the um, is uh, to the um, oropharynx is a junction between the soft palate and the hard palate okay uh, then uh, on the ventral part of the tongue there is a, a midline a mucosal fold called the frenulum uh, uh, numerous uh, 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 submandibular and the sublingual duct uh, open through numerous ostia here okay whereas the parotid gland op uh, stensens duct uh, opens into the uh, buccal mucosa this opens into the floor of the mouth whereas this opens into the uh, the sense and duct open into the buccal mucosa okay the uh, next the whole of the oral cavity is lined by stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium uh, but uh, there are areas where there can be uh, keratinization uh, especially the areas where there is uh, continuous friction due to mastication that is the gingiva uh, the uh, dorsum of the tongue and um, um, uh, uh, do some of the tongue, gingiva, and the heart palate. And beneath the mucosa, there are numerous mucoserous glands. Okay, the minor salivary glands. These mucoserous glands are nothing but minor salivary glands. That's it.